Shalom, Shalom. I want to start off by giving our praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahusha, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to the House of Elders, the Great Wills, the Holy Will. Peace and salutations to the House of David, the elite men, the elite men, pushing the truth in the faith of Sicilia throughout the four corners of the earth. Alright, and I want to entitle this lesson on Rip Not Thyself. Uh, with with uh, evil doers. Go into the word Fred. Says, uh, like, be constantly or visibly worried or anxious. Uh, gradually wear away something by rubbing or gnawing. Okay, so that's the one right there. Uh, constantly, constantly, uh, you know, being gradually weared away it, you know. <laughs> gradually being wear away with, you know, being sifted ultimately, you know. I think I did uh Luke twenty one, I believe it is, you know. If I, you know, when it says uh, Simon, Simon, Satan has desire to sift you as we, you know. Uh matter of fact, I'm just gonna grab this word. Cause it was inspired off this song for thirty seven, which I'm gonna grab that chapter later in a little bit. It's inspired off this verse right here, grab the word free. In this verse, it says, uh, to be hot, furious, burn, become angry, be kindled, uh, to be angry with, to burn, to heat oneself in vexation. You know, so to be angry, to be furious, you know, to be worried, you know, to be anxious, you know, to be displeased and, you know, jealous, you know, because, you know, of, of, of the lifestyle of the evildoers, man, you know, and you, you, you can't, you know, put forth your hands to do those things as, as, as the evildoers and the sinners are doing, you know, or how, you know, they live so great, but they, they're not serving you. How about you? You're supposed to uh, let them worry you, you know, or. Know, be, be be anxious uh, to to live as, as as if they would because uh, you know judgment is not necessarily being executed speedily against them you know so you feel like oh you wanna you 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 wanna uh, live in that manner as well you know let's get this in our uh, Psalms uh, I mean it's like in Proverbs twenty three and seventeen it says let not thine heart envy sinners. But be thou in the fear of the Lord, Yahabashim El Shai, all the day long. You know, so it says, Let not thy heart envy sinners, you know. Pretty much, you know, echoing that Psalms 371, you know, by you know, not fret fretting thy silver evildoers, you know. So like you know, let me grab the word envy. It's uh Yep, same thing. Could not. Strong's H seven thousand sixty five. Kana, Kana. Yeah, so to be envy, to, it's like it to envy, be jealous, be envious, be zealous, to be jealous of, to be zealous for, to incite to jealous anger, to provoke the jealous anger. Yeah, so pretty much jealous anger, anger, man. That's what that's what uh, envy is, jealous anger. You know, which you you know, we're supposed to have a godly jealousy, you know. But you know we're we're not supposed to uh, be you know what I say uh, um, be angry but saying not you know what I'm saying so we we get you know angry about certain things but you know we don't put forth uh, our hand into the light of the wicked matter of fact that is this Psalms 125 Psalms 125 yep. 
this Psalms 125 and 3. It says, For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the light of the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands into iniquity. So it says, you know, the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest, you know, the righteous put forth their hands into iniquity. You know, and that's what, you know, we can't do, put forth our hands into iniquity. You know why? Because a lot of uh, the rod of the wicked gonna rest upon us. You know, which we don't want that. You know, we want we will want to see this rod of correction from the heavenly Father. You know, which it's gonna, like you. Yeah, let me, I'm, I'm gonna read this one more time. You know, um, spirits name is Satan um, hindered. Um, this is Psalms 125 and three. It says, "For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands into iniquity." You know, so we can't. You know, put forth our hands into iniquity, or, or guess what? We're gonna receive uh, the judgment of, of, of those who, you know, continue to put forth their hands into iniquity. You know, it says, "Do good, O Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shah, unto those that be good, and to them that are upright in their hearts." And that's what we gotta be upright in our hearts. You know, Yahweh Shemel Shah gonna be good uh, uh, unto those who are, are upright, upright in heart. Now, if you're not upright in heart, Yahweh Shemel Shah not gonna do good to you. You know, Strong's age thirty four seventy seven seventy seven. Yashar, 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 Yashar. Yep, yes, sir. And it says, uh, straight, uh, correct, right, straight, level, right, pleasing, correct, straightforward, just fitting that which is upright. So we got to be fitting, you know, convenient. Uh, have equity, you know. Be be pleased with, you know. Be pleased well, you know. To to be pleased with, you know. So you know, being a writer, someone who you know is uh well pleasing, you know, someone who is straightforward, you know, straight about the business, straight about business, you know, who walks correctly, someone who's correct. It says verse five. It says as for such as turn aside unto their crooked ways. The Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity, but peace shall be upon Israel. Yeah, the Israel, the uh, Yahweh Shemashah. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's who peace is going to be upon, but it's not going to be no peace until the wicked, man. You know? So, you know, we, we shouldn't be worried about, you know, the wicked and, you know, what what, what they got going on. You know, because ultimately, if we, if we, we want to worry about that so much, you want to be, you want to fresh yourself with with that, then you have Hashem Yashah gonna bring you forth with them, you know, which horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation, you know. This uh Exodus chapter 23, verse 2, it says, Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, you know, which this this is a law. We're not supposed to follow a multitude and do evil. It says, Neither shall thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. Yeah, so Ultimately, you know, we, we shouldn't speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment, man. You know, but in righteousness, thou should judge thy, na thy neighbor. And, you know, we supposed to uh, examine ourselves as well, man. You know, through these different tests and trials of faith, which, you know, a part of a test and the trial, you know, a different affirmity, you know, is, uh, you know, having to, uh, you know, uh, restrain from corrupt desires, man. You know, that's that's an infirmity but you know the spirit of the of a man will sustain his infirmity that's why we have to be in the right spirit you know it, it, it says shall thou uh neither shall thou speak and they cause the decline after many to rest judgment let's get that word rest you know because we're not supposed to be you know a scepter of gifts or respecter of persons either man you know wrong is wrong and right is right you know Brothers can hear it, but it's uh H5186 and that's the ta. It says uh to scratch out so I can extend, spread out, pitch, turn, pervert. You know, so we're not supposed to pervert judgment, man. Being about, you know, we're supposed to be in, you know, being judgment, man. You know, it says uh to turn aside. Uh, decline uh, to turn incline influence bend down hold out extend thrust aside thrust away you know so we're supposed to be completely 
uh, honest with ourselves and, you know, with others around us too, man. Like, bro, that's not the way to go. You know, <laughs> they, you know, what, man, you, you, you know, in the world, you know, you got people doing all this and that, you know, the in crowd, they doing this and that. And then you approve them and be like, nah, I don't want to, you know, that what you're doing ain't right, man. You know what I'm saying? They look at you like, man, you, you a lame, you a square, man, you know. What you talking about this wrong Hey man you know forget If they want to look at you some type of way man You know if you're doing wrong We're going to speak out against wrong You know we're not going to partake in wrong You know regardless of You know how many people Doing it and saying it's right You know we're going we're gonna to stay on our P's and Q's you know We're going to we, We're going to stand We're going to stay in our square You know Let's get this in Proverbs 12 1044 called La Yabba Shemasha. This is uh, Proverbs uh, 12 and 26. It says, The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. Yes, yeah, so the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, man. You know, these, you know, the righteous ultimately talking about the nation of Israel. You know, we're more excellent. You know, we're more superior than any of these other nations on, on the planet, you know. It says, but the way of the wicked seduceth them. Yeah, but the way of the wicked seduceth them. You know, like I tell you about in Jeremiah the fifth chapter about how, you know, um, the the there, uh, among my people there be found wicked men, and they have overpassed the deeds of the wicked man. You know, so ultimately, you know, among our nation, you have uh, wicked men. You know, and and they have uh, overpassed the deeds of the wicked. Why? Because the ways of the wicked have seduced them. You know. Uh, but you know we can't be seduced by the ways of the wicked, man. You know what I'm saying? Like we 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 shouldn't we shouldn't fall we we shouldn't fall into that uh into that into that snare and that trap, man. You know because uh it's it's nothing there, man. You know it's it's an illusion. It's fake. You know. Jumping down to 28, it says, "In the way of righteousness is life." And in the pathway thereof, there is no death. Yeah, it says in the way of righteousness is life, man. You know, so it's not in, in, in the way of evil and wicked. It's not life there, man. There's nothing but death. Well, we, you know, Romans 6 and 23 for the wages of sin or death. You know, it says in the way of righteousness is death. And in the pathway thereof, there is no death. Yeah. And in the pathway thereof, there is no death. So if you if you're uh, walking in righteousness, you know, death um it's not gonna come unto you, man. You know, death is not gonna come unto you. But now, if you're not, if you want to walk uh, in 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 a, in a pathway that's adverse to righteousness, then you know, death death is gonna uh, be in your way. You know, death death is gonna be uh, lying in wait for you. You know, let's go ahead to Sirach seven. Uh, this is Sirach chapter seven. Verse 15 It says Hate not laborious work Neither husbandry Which the most high has ordained You know so I'm not supposed to hate laborious work You know which You know is the, the business and profession Where unto we were called You know which is You know the, the, the servitude Unto you How about Shemal Shai And his saints You know we're not supposed to hate that We're supposed to enjoy that You know We're supposed to enjoy doing the right thing And serve you How about Shemal Shai in righteousness to the best of our abilities you know it says hate not laborious work neither husbandry which the most high have ordained you know and Yahweh Shemashah he's ordained us to work you know he, he's, he's ordained us to uh, put forth uh, our servitude into this ministry you know uh, on all levels for long man we've been ordered to do this man you know so that's why you know another reason why we shouldn't fret ourselves with with evil doers. Why? Because Yahweh Shemesh gave us direct orders. You know, it says, Number not thyself among the multitude of sinners, but remember that wrath will not tarry long. Yeah, so Yahweh Shemesh said, Don't number yourself among the multitude of sin sinners, man. But remember that wrath will not tarry long because ultimately, you know, you could, uh, you know, try to, you know, put forth your hand into, you know, evil, you know, or, you know, try to join un unto sinners. No, but just remember that Yahabashim it's a uh, Yahabashim Asha's wrath will not tarry long. Eventually, Yahabashim Asha is just gonna end up smashing on you, man. 
you know, so you want to, you know, just uh, play hopscotch with, with centers, you know, well, you have I see my second gonna knock you off, man, you know, it says humble thyself greatly for the vengeance of the ungodly is fire and worms. And yeah, that's what we got to remember. We got to, you know, keep ourselves greatly humbled, man, because, you know, if we're, if we're ungodly, you know, well, uh, fire and worms is coming for us, which ultimately we know the nukes coming. You know, that's this this was coming unto all the ungodly, man. You know, what what it, it, whatever's left of them, <laughs> if if anything is left of them, it's gonna be incinerated in 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 fire, man. You know, it says, change not a friend for any good by no means. Which you know, we know who the true friend is. That's our Lord Yahushua Mashiach, man. We can't. Trade on your house, shot my shark, our true friend for nothing, man. You know, definitely not for you know, uh, momentary pleasures, the belly, you know, or things that we aspire after in this world. It says, Neither a faithful brother for the gold of Ophir, yes. Yeah, so, you know, we we shouldn't trade on your house, shot my shot for nothing out here. Can't forget that your house, shot my shot, he died for us, man, you know. Just a little side note, you know, so we shouldn't trade a faithful brother for even the gold of Ophir, man. You know, that can't, they can't be valued, man. They can't be valued, you know. So what Yahusha Mashiach has done for us, you know, and what he's asking us to do for him, you know, we should uh, easily do it. And we shouldn't, uh, we, we should never trade on our service unto him for nothing, you know, not even the golden wedge of Ophir, man. You know, you can't. There's nothing more valuable than what Yahushua Mashiach did for us and what we're doing for him, you know. It says, verse 19, For gold, not a wise and good woman, for her grace is above gold. Yeah, and that's this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's that's the that's the, the wise and good woman. Ultimately, you know, her, her grace is above gold. You know, her favor, you know, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, the desire of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding bring forth the kingdom. You know, it's also the stability of that times, man. So for gold, not a wise and good woman for her grace is above gold, man. You know, and, uh, the, you know, if you got, you got you a, uh, this is like, you got you a good woman, you know, who is after your mind, you know what I'm saying? Like the scriptures speak on, man, you know, you don't supposed to forsake her. You, you don't supposed to forsake her. And that's, uh, this was not to understand it. Ultimately, you know, we're supposed to forsake it no matter what. Why? Because. Who, who can find a virtuous woman which you know that that, that that virtuous woman ultimately you know could be considered us a Sophia you know which is you know that me and the brother went into that word virtuous is, is going into strength as well man which is, is much strength in the wisdom knowledge and understanding you have by Shemel Shai riches and profit you know riches is not going to profit uh, in their wrath gold 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 can't deliver you you know gold can't deliver gold or silver can't deliver you you know, uh, this is uh, Proverbs, Proverbs 11, it's Proverbs 11 and verse 21, it says, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered, yeah, it says, though hand join in hand, you know, the wicked shall not be unpunished, man, so, you know, ultimately, you, you, you want to number yourself among sinners, you know, you want to, uh, you know, or you, you want to advocate sinners. You want just, to justify the wicked. You know, you want to, uh, you know, partake in, in, in wickedness within itself. Then, you know, you, you're not going to go unpunished. You know, well, we know Nahum, the first chapter, tell you that you have a smash out will not at all acquit the wicked. You know, it says, Thou, though hands on in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. But the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. That's that's the only ones who are gonna be delivered, the seed of the righteous, man. You know? The 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 the, the seed of, of, of the wicked are not gonna be delivered. The seed of the righteous are gonna be delivered. We wanna be of the seed of the of the righteous. Why? So we can be delivered. You know? If if you don't wanna be of the seed of the righteous, obviously you don't wanna be delivered, man. You know? So you wanna sit them sit sit uh among uh sit sit with sinners, then you know you you're gonna die with them, man. <laughs> Uh, this uh, Job chapter 34 verse 18 Is it fit to say to a king Thou art wicked and to princes Yea are ungodly Yeah and that's, 
That's a that's a rhetorical question, man. It's not fit to say to a king thou are wicked, man. You know, a, a, a king and wickedness that 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 they don't go hand in hand. And, well, any wicked king they got brought down, man. If if you was a king and you was wicked, Yahbashim Asad took you out of power, man. You know, if you a king, you got to rule in righteousness, man. If you a king, you got to move in righteousness. Or otherwise, Yahbashim Asad is gonna take your ass out. Wisdom of Solomon the sixth chapter tell you about that. You know, it says. Is it fit to say to a king that thou art wicked, and to princes ye are ungodly, and to princes ye are ungodly, which we are the princes of the power, man. You know, we are the princes of the power. You know, so it's not uh it's not fit to say unto us we are ungodly, man. You know, which let's get that word ungodly. Ungodly is Rasha. Uh it says uh, a criminal, guilty one, guilty, you know, uh, guilty of sin against Yahabashim Al Shah or man, morally wrong in the strongest definition, uh, and bad person, uh, a wicked man, you know, so someone who's morally wrong, someone who is. A bad person, someone who was condemned, you know, a, a wicked man, you know, is, is is it fit to say to a prince that he's a wicked man? Hell no, nah. which we're a nation of kings and priests, you know, we're, we, we are princes, we're the princes of the power, man. So it's not fit for us to be uh, associated with uh, wickedness or ungodliness, you know, so, you know, if we, if we, Look, 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 look at ourselves as kings and priests, you know, as princes of the power, you know, then we, you know, we got to make, be sure to make sure we're not associating ourselves with, uh, you know, any wickedness or evil, you know, this is a uh, Psalm, Psalm chapter one, verse one, it says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. So it's, it blesses the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly man of, of, of the wicked of of, of those who are, are, are morally uh, morally not upright, you know, it says, "Blessed is the man that walketh in the walk of not in the counsel of the ungodly." Yes, yeah, so that's how you're blessed if you walk in not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, nor 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 standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, Yahabashim al and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to meditate in the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahabashim al day and light, that day and night. You know? Why? Because that's that's where life is, man. Life is not anywhere else, you know. It's, it's like and she, he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, and he should be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, which means he's gonna continually grow and continually flourish, you know. It's the house of the upright so flourish. Let me see if I can get that. I think it's in Proverbs. Let's see. Yup. This uh Proverbs chapter 14, verse 11. It says, The house of the wicked shall be overthrown, but the tabernacle of the upright shall flourish. The tabernacle of the upright shall flourish, man. You know, that's that's that tree that's planted uh, by rivers of water, man. You know, because we're we're likened unto trees. Men are likened unto trees, man. You know, when you meditate in the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Shemal Shai continually, day and night. You know, and you 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 don't walk in the way of the ungodly, or stand up in the way of sinners, or sit you know sit in the seat of the scornful. You're gonna be like that tree planted by the rivers of water. You know, it says, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. That bringeth forth his fruit in his season, his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Yeah, and, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper, man. You know, was that that made me think of that Joshua the first chapter when they tell you, you know, you know, we're supposed to do good, you know, and uh meditate in the in the, in the law, statutes, and commandments, you how about she for then we shall have good success and, and, and prosper, you know. It says verse four. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff with the wind driven away, which the wind drive away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous.
for the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Shai, know of the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Yeah, so you know, if 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 you uh ungodly, you're not gonna stand in judgment with Yahweh Shimei Shai. You know, nor sinners in the congregation of righteous. And if you if you're a sinner, you're not gonna uh you you're not gonna be numbered among the saints, man. You know, all, all the sinners of my people should die by the sword. You know. It says, for the Lord, you have by Shemel Shah, know of the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Yeah, for, for the Lord, you have by Shemel Shah, know of the way of the, the righteous. He know of the way of the righteous, man. He says, but the way of the ungodly shall perish, man. It, it, this, 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 this do, man. This dead, man. You know? Yeah, by Shemel Shah, don't know which way you, you going by. Well, you trying to come up another way, man. You a thief and a robber, man. Yeah, how about Shemel Shah going to give you the judgment of a thief and a robber, man? Well, if you try to run up in somebody's house, <coughs> it's a lock you. You know, you you end up in that house, then hey man, if your ass gets shot to death, that, you, you should have been in their damn house. You know, this uh Isaiah chapter thirteen, it's a lock you. It's a lock. This uh Isaiah. Chapter 13 and verse 9. It says, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel with wrath and fierce anger. Yeah, so the day of the Lord is coming with wrath and, and, and fierce anger, man. And it's gonna be cruel, man. You know? I used to pull this grip a lot, man. You know, the day of the Lord is gonna be cruel, man. Day day of Yahab is gonna be a cruel ass day, man. It's gonna have what both both with wrath and fierce anger. It's gonna have wrath and fierce anger in it, you know. It says to lay the land desolate, so it's gonna lay the land desolate in the day of the Lord. Yah, by Shemel Shai, and it's coming, and it's gonna be cruel, and He shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. He's gonna destroy the sinners that's in the in the land. He's gonna destroy them out of the land, man. He's gonna lay the land desolate, man. You know, so Yah, by Shemel Shai, is gonna completely decimate sinners and the wicked. You know, so that's why there's no reason to to fret thyself with them. Because Yahweh Shema Shah is going to utterly destroy them, you know. Oh, let's go. Yep. This uh, Proverbs chapter 13, verse uh, 20. It says, he that walketh with wise men shall be wise. Right. We're trying to be wise, man. You know. Because why? Yahweh Shema Shah love him none, but him that dwelleth with wisdom. You know. It says, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. But a companion of fools shall be destroyed, man. You know. You 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 wanna you you wanna be cool with a fool, then you know you, you, you judgments judgment are prepared uh, for scorners and strikes for the backs of fools, man. You got strikes waiting on your ass, man. You know. It says, "Evil pursuers pursue of sinners, but to the righteous good shall be be repaid." Right. So evil is gonna pursue sinners, man. That's that, the expectation of the wicked is wrath, man. The only thing that you got to wait on, if if, if you're being wicked or you know you you're, you're sinning, is 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 is, is evil. You know, ju uh, evil judgment to come upon you. You know, but but to the righteous, good should be repaid, right? But Yahweh Shemashah is gonna repay the righteous with good. You know, he's gonna repay the sinners with evil. You know, which ultimately we want to. You know, we want to be repaid with good, man. You know, that's what we in this for. You know, Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, you have Hashem Hashem can pardon us and give us good in the, in, in the time of trouble and treat us in the time of trouble. You know, uh, this is uh, James chapter four and verse eight. It says, draw not to you. How about you? He will draw not unto you. So, you know, we got to draw not to you. How about you? You know, so he can draw closer to us. You know, it says, cleanse your hearts. It's so like it cleanse your cleanse your hands. Ye, ye sinners and purify your hearts ye double minded right so you know don't don't put forth your hands to do iniquity you know that's how you cleanse your hands by not putting forth your hand into iniquity it says and, and purify your hearts purify your minds you know cleanse your minds sanctify them through thy truth you know which anything outside of the way of Yahweh is not the truth you know and uh, that that defiles your mind. You know that's why the scriptures say, "Come, come, get out of her, my people." You know, come out, come out of her uh, spiritually and mentally, man. You know, and coming to the way you have by Shemashah. 
let's go here to Ecclesiastes 2. This uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 2 in verse, I'll just start from the top. It's King Solomon speaking. It says, I said, I said in my heart, go to now, I will prove thee with mirth. Therefore, enjoy pleasure and behold, this also is vanity. You know, so King Solomon was like, you know, he he basically was like, man, I got it all. You know, I'm going to try to go seek to to, to, to find, you know, uh, the full on uh, the, 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 the full on purposes of mirth and, and the full on uh, joy behind mirth. You know, full on uh, uh, effects and results of mirth, you know. It says, verse 2, I said of laughter, it is mad, and of mirth, what do a fit? <laughs> so, you know, King Solomon was like, man, it, it really ain't hitting on nothing, you know? And, 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 that's, and that's what the evil is all, you know, that's what the evil and the sinners and the wicked are all about, is, you know, uh, mirth and folly, you know? It says, I sought in my heart to give myself unto wine, yet acquainting my heart with wisdom, and to lay hold on folly. Till I might see what was that What was that good for the sons of men Which they should do under the heaven All the days of their life You know so It's what you know Some evildoers may be doing You know in, in, in their fullness of folly You know which King Solomon He was the wisest man to ever walk the earth And he was uh You know uh, seeking out to find uh, the, the fullness behind folly You know he, Like he, he, he was like okay let me let me uh, go do, you know, the best of the best that you can do in, in, in involved in your folly or your mirth, you know. It says, I made me great works. I built me houses. I planted me vineyards. I made me gardens and orchards and planted trees in them all of all kind of fruits. I made me pools of water to water there with the wood that bring forth the trees, bring forth trees. I got me servants and maidens and servants born in my house. Also, I had great possessions of great and small cattle above all that were in Jerusalem before me. You know, even the the, the, the best of the best who was prospering in, 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 in wickedness. King Solomon had more than them, you know. I gathered me also silver and gold and the peculiar treasure of kings and of the provinces. I got me men singers and women singers and the delights of the sons of men as musical instruments and that of all sorts. So I was great. Shalakia. So I was great and increased more than all that were before me in Jerusalem. Also, my wisdom remained with me. And whatsoever my eyes desire i kept not from them i withheld not my heart from any joy for my heart rejoiced in all my labor and this was my portion of all my labor then i looked on all the works that my hands had wrought and on the labor that i had labored to do and behold all was vanity and vexation of spirit and there was no profit under the sun so king solomon let you know letting you know like look i i I did everything that you could possibly want to do, you know, and uh, and in the conclusion of it, I was it, it, it was nothing that's profitable under the sun, man, you know. Only thing that's profitable uh, under the sun is is nothing more profitable. Uh, Salakia, let me try. Script I just thought of Salakia. Profitable. It's nothing more profitable to me. This is lucky. Yep. Yeah, this is this it. This uh Titus chapter three verse eight. It says, This is a faithful saying, and these things I will that thou affirm constantly that they which have believed in Yahweh may be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable unto men. Yeah, so, you know, it's, it's a maintaining good works, man. You know, continuing in the ways of Yahweh Shema Shah. That's, that's profitable to men, you know. Let me see. I think it may be another one. You know, 
know, but anything outside of that is not is not is not profitable for you, you know. Where nothing excels the the, the uh, things that uh, it excels uh, you know, the way you have by see outside, you know. That's 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 truly profitable for you, you know. Um, yep, I think this is the one right here too. Yeah, this is the one. The wisdom of Solomon eight. Yep, this wisdom of Solomon chapter eight verse seven. And if a man love righteousness, her labors are virtues, for she teaches temperance and prudence. Justice and fortitude, which are such things as man can have nothing more profitable in their life. Yeah, so you can't have nothing more profitable than you know righteousness, you know virtue, you know uh, temperance, prudence, justice, you know and fortitude, you know which are all you know uh, things that are, are, are come from fruits of righteousness. You know, there's nothing more profitable than that. You know. Everything else under the sun is not profitable as that would be, you know. Jumping back in Ecclesiastes uh, 2 and 12. And I turned myself to behold wisdom and madness and folly. For what can the man do that cometh after the king, even that which have been already done? Then I saw that wisdom excelleth folly as far as light excelleth darkness, man. And that's, and that's, and that's the key on that, man. You know, that's the key on that. With wisdom excel of folly, you know, as far as light, excel of darkness. So, you know, the ways of Yahweh Shemel Shai excels way past the ways of this world, man. You know, uh, righteousness will always prevail over wickedness. You know, it says the wise man's eyes are in his head, but the fool walketh in darkness and I myself perceive also that one event happened to them all. Then said I in my heart, as it happened unto the fool, so it happened even to me. And why was I then more wise? Then I said in my heart that this also is vanity. For there is no remembrance of the wise more than of the fool forever, seeing that which is now in the days to come shall all be forgotten. And how how dieth the wise man as a fool you know so that's <laughs> basically you know you can even have the wisdom of this world on a high high level you could even be wise as we are you know but ultimately you know we're still gonna have to go through that hour of temptation man you know so whether you're you're you're, you're living in wickedness or, or righteousness you're still gonna have to uh be faced with the uh, uh be, be faced with uh, temptation You know That's why ultimately It's best to uh, Walk in righteousness Because we want to die The death of the righteous You know We want to die The death of the righteous We want to die In the right circumstances You know You would rather die In righteousness Than wick wickedness You know It says Therefore I hated life Because the work That is wrought Under the sun Is grievous unto me for all this vanity and vexation of spirit. And that's ultimately what it's all, you know, what, what it bubbles down to, man. You know, anything that you want to do that an evil doer doing is really, you know, uh, unbeneficial for you. And it's, va and it's vanity, you know, and it's a vexation of spirit, you know. So it's no, it's, it's no point to even uh, worry yourself over there, you know, because it ain't going to do nothing but destroy you, you know. Let me get this Psalms 37 number, just wrap it up, you know. I'm gonna just read down on this a little. Uh, you know, I'm gonna try to get a good amount of this chapter. Um, this Psalm chapter 37, verse 1 it says, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, but neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Yes, yeah, so we don't supposed to, you know, be agitated, worried, you know, uh, angered, you know, envious of, of, of evildoers. Why? You know, but, but, well, it's gonna go into it. It says, Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Those, you know, putting their forth their hands into sin, continuing to buck on Yahweh by Shemel Shai. It says, for they shall so soon be cut down like the grass and weather as the green herb. That's why. They're going to soon be cut off like 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 grass, man. You know? And you put you put a lawnmower on grass, that's nothing, man. It, it, it's gone. You know? It says, trust in the Lord, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, and do good, so shall thou 
dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Yes, yeah, it says, trust in the Lord, Yahweh shall do good. So shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. So you got to trust in the Lord and do good to dwell in the land. You know why? Because we read in Isaiah 13 about how Yahweh shall going to lay the land desolate and destroy the sinners thereof out of it. So you got to be following the ways of Yahweh Shemashai to be able to stand up through that. You know, it says, Delight thyself also in the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. And that's the key right there. If you delight in yourself in the way of Yahweh Shemashai, if you're doing what Yahweh Shemashai wants you to do anything that. That, that you want you you gonna receive so you ain't gotta go do wickedness to 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 go get something or you know feel joy yeah how about she gonna give you what you want as long as you doing what he want you know it says commit thy way unto the lord yeah how about she might shy trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass right so if you commit your way to the lord yeah how about she might shy he's gonna take care of you and he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noon day and as the new day is going to be, you know, uh, it's going to be uh, beauty in that, man. It's going to be abundance within that, man. You know, <laughs> just the sun is going to shine upon you, man. <laughs> you know, it says, rest in the Lord. Yeah, how about shine? Wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. So we're supposed to rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him, you know. We want to fret ourselves with those who are prospering in, the, in their way, you know, uh, b b because of the men who bring wicked devices to pass, you know. It says, cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Yeah, cease from anger and forsake wrath. And don't fret yourself in any wise to do evil, man. Don't be, you know, worried and, you know, pressuring yourself about going to do evil, you know, or, you know, feeling like you... you you, you want to do that so bad you know you want to you want something so bad that you got to do evil to get it you know you gotta you you want to do something so bad that you're gonna go do evil you know just just to do it you know it says for evil doers shall be cut off but those that wait upon the lord shall inherit the earth yeah those that wait upon the uh lord they're gonna inherit the earth to meet the meek shall inherit the earth the humble man you know those are those who are gonna inherit the earth man you know it says for yet a little while and the wicked shall not be yet thou shalt diligently consider his place and it shall not be yes says yet a little while and the wicked shall not be man so eventually you know you have see my side is gonna cut the wicked off so the 20th chapter to tell you know if you're not from this this from old that the triumph because the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment you know, it says, but the meek shall inherit the earth. There it go right there. And shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Yeah, because uh, peace, the abundance of peace, it, the, uh, the, it, it, that's a fruit of the spirit. And, and, and that's what we ultimately want. We want peace, you know, because we don't have no peace here, you know, in the, in the land of darkness, you know, where there is no order, you know. It says, the wicked plotteth against the just and Nash of his Nash of upon him with his teeth. The Lord Yahweh Shemashah shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. Yeah, and that's what you know the wicked, you know, they they they'll talk shit about the righteous, you know, or they you know, they'll they'll look at us like like, you know, uh Lord willing we those men. They, they they'll look at us like we're uh we're the weirdos or or, or we we got something wrong with us because we're we're not conducting ourselves in a certain certain type of manner, you know. They'll laugh at us, but really, yeah, how about you, son, laughing at their ass, man? You know, because they they're, they're going to be destroyed. You know, it says, verse fourteen: the wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy, and to slay such as be of a, of upright conversation, right? Because, uh. You know, if, if you ain't got if you ain't got the upright around, then you could just continue on in your wickedness and not have to. Uh, have, no, nobody's gonna hold you accountable for it. Everybody's gonna, you know, uh, join hand in hand with you. You know, but the righteous they they stand up against iniquity. You know, it says their sword shall enter into their own heart and their bow shall be broken. Why? Because you have a man that said, "He that casts a stone on high shall fall upon his own head. He that dig of a pit." 
you know, he gonna fall therein, you know. He that roll of a stone is gonna come back upon him, man. You know? So ultimately, you know, you, you think you, you, you get one over on your Habashima side, but really your Habashima side is gonna is gonna bring you down, you know? It says a little that a righteous man have is better than the riches of many wicked. Yeah, the little a little that a righteous man have is better than the riches of many wicked, man. You know, so if you just got what well, tell you about that Sarat three, you have been shown more than men know. Just a little bit of uh you know uh grace and favor, you know, uh the spiritual gifts that Yahabashima has bestowed upon us, those things are, 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 are a million times better than several wicked men, you know, who who are prospering in, in, in this world and evil, you know. It says, for the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord, Yahweh Shemasha, upholdeth the righteous. Yeah, for the Lord, Yahweh Shemasha, upholdeth the righteous, man. You know, he don't uphold uh, the wicked. You know, the Lord, Yahweh Shemasha, knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. Yeah, so the, 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 the days of the upright are known by Yahweh Shemasha. Well, we know that uh, the wicked, they said they're going to perish in their way. He, he don't know their way, you know. And it says in their inheritance shall be forever, man. So, you know, they're going to they gonna rule. If the righteous is going to rule forever, man, eternally, you know. They ain't going to never be brought down. You know, the wicked, they're going to be brought down shortly, man. And they, and they only got a little moment, you know. It says they shall not be ashamed in the evil time. In the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. Yeah, and it says in the, in the evil time, they're not going to be ashamed, which a lot of people are going to be ashamed in the evil time. Why? Because they wanted to do evil, man. It says in the days of famine, so they, they, they should be satisfied. In the days where, you know, people starving to death, you know, the servants of Yahweh Hashem Asha, they're going to be okay. It says, but the wicked shall perish and the enemies of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Asha, shall be as the fat of the lambs. They, lambs, they shall consume into smoke, shall they consume away. Yeah, you know, because you're supposed to burn the fat. And that's what Yahweh Hashem Asha going to do to the wicked. You know, the fats overflow, you know, representing the wickedness. Yahweh Hashem Asha going to burn it. You know, well, every 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 tree that bear bear of not fruit, the Lord take them away and purge it. You know, it says the wicked borrow and payeth not again, but the righteous show of mercy and giveth. Yeah, so the wicked, you know, they they continue to uh, you know take the grace and and the mercy Yahabashim outside for granted, man. But the, but the righteous they take that and they give it back. You know. It says, for such as to be blessed of him shall inherit the earth, and they shall be cursed of him. They that be cursed of him shall be cut off. Yeah, so Yahweh Shemashah got men appointed for death. You know, Second Ezra is now, let the multitude perish who were born in vain. You know, it says, they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. If you curse by Yahweh Shemashah, you, you finished out here. You know, but they that be blessed of him shall inherit the earth. And, you know, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. You know, it says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, and he delighted in his way. So, you know, Yahweh Shemashah delights in, in, in the way of uh, of good men. You know, how, how are you considered as a good man? Because you're you're, you're, you're following after the, the direction of Yahweh Shemashah. You, you, you're following after the Holy Spirit of discipline, you know. It says, though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down for the Lord. Yahweh Shemasha uphold of him with his hand. So, you know, a righteous man falling seven times, but he get him back up. Ultimately, that's Yahweh Shemasha, you know, uh, ordering your steps, man. Keeping you on the path. Even though you slip up, you fall, you make mistakes. Yahweh Shemasha still get you back right, you know, and get you back on the path, you know. Because you, cause you're you not freeing yourself with evildoers. You know, you're, you're trying to commit your way to the Lord. Yahweh Shemasha, you know. It says, I have I have been young and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Yes, yeah, so you know the, the righteous ain't never been forsaken. It says, He is ever merciful and lendeth, and his seed is blessed. That's the seed of the righteous. You know. Which we know the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. It says, Depart from evil and do good. It says and dwell forevermore for the Lord Yahweh Shemal Shai love of judgment and for sake of not his saints they are preserved forever but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off so the the, 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 the seed 
the 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 saints, the seed of the righteous, you know, they're 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 gonna uh be preserved forever. And they are preserved forever. Lord willing, you know, we those men, you know, you go into remnant, you know, that this 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 something that's preserved, man. You know. Lord willing, we are part of that remnant that's been preserved, you know, until until the last age, you know. It says the righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous speak of wisdom, and the in his tongue talk of judgment. The law of Yahweh Shimon is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. You see, so it's telling you how the the, the righteous are. They had the law of Yahweh Shimon in their mind, you know, and none of their steps. And, and in their steps, what well, say a good man? His, his steps are order of the Lord. Let you know that that good man is someone who has the law of Yahweh Shimon in his heart, you know, who speaks wisdom, man. You know, and who follows after the way of Yahweh Shemashah, who meditates in the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Shemashah day and night. You know, it says, The wicked watch of the righteous and seek to slay him. The Lord Yahweh Shemashah will not leave him in his hand nor condemn him when he is judged. It says, Wait on the Lord Yahweh Shemashah and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. You know, and that's, that's going into, uh, Revelation the 14th chapter and Revelation the 15th chapter about you know how uh they sung a new song you know how they look down on a uh uh a me uh, uh on the sea with a mingle mingle you know the sea of glass you know seeing a fire you know about how you know ultimately you know Revelation 14 and 9 about you know in the presence of the, of the lamb and the holy angels you know those who got burnt up you know the wicked man you know they they got to see, you know the destruction, man. Like uh, first on ticket, man. You know and they escaped it. You know they got uh, they got uh, diplomatic immunity through Yahweh Shemel Shah. You know, but uh, that's it, man. You know I pray through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemel Shah. This is edifying. I want to give our praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah by Shem or Kakadash. Double honor to the apostle and elders. A great millstone rule well and teach well. Peace and salutations to the house of David, the late man, pursuing his truth and faith and sincerity. Shalom.